Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is a, another video in the three phase series. In the previous videos, we understood the three phase supply system, its connections, various relationships. Like in case of star connection, the line voltage is given as root 3 times Vp while line current and phase current they are same. In case of delta connection, line voltage and phase voltage they are same. Line current is root 3 times phase current. You can check the detailed derivations in the previous videos. The links are provided in the description box. We also found the expression for power in case of three phase that is Vp 3 times Vp Ip cos phi or root 3 times Vl Il cos phi. Similarly, reactive power 3 times Vp Ip sin phi root 3 times Vl Il sin phi apparent power 3 times Vp Ip or root 3 times Vl Il. So, we have driven all these relationships earlier in the previous videos. In this video, I am going to solve four different numerical problems for the three phase system. Now, the very first problem states that a balanced delta connected load of 8 minus J6 ohm per phase is connected to a 230 volt 50 hertz supply. Calculate the power factor, line current, and reactive power. So, 8 minus J6, it means this one is a RC load. We have a resistance in series with capacitance. Resistance in series with capacitance. And again, resistance in series with the capacitance. Minus J6 ohm, 8 ohm. These are the values. This is a delta connected load. 230 volt supply that is the value of line voltage. Since we know that in case of three phase systems, the ratings are in case of line quantities. So, this voltage is 230 volt. We need to calculate line current. Now, when we need to calculate line current, in case of delta current connection, line current is root 3 times IP. So, we need to find out the value of IP. For finding out IP, which is given as Vp upon Zp. So, in case of delta connection, Vp and Vl, they are same. So, IP is 230 upon Zp is 8 minus J6. So, this gives us the value of current IP as 23 angle 36.87 MPS, 23.0. So, this 36.87, this gives the angle between phase voltage and phase current. Hence, we can find out power factor. Since phi is 36.87, so power factor which is equal to cos phi cos 36.87. So, one is 0 0.8 and it is a leading power factor. Phi is plus 36.87, it means this is a leading power factor. So, we got the answer for our first part. Then we need to calculate the line current in second part. So, line current, it is root 3 times Ip. So, the magnitude, if we talk about the magnitudes, Il is root 3 times 23, it is 39.84 MPa. And if we have to mention, consider the phase angles as well, then IL is equal to root 3 times IP and then we have minus 30 degree along with it. 
रूट थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट एट सेवन माइनस थर्टी सो इट विल बी थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट एट फोर सिक्स पॉइंट एट सेवन एम बी एस सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एल अलॉन्ग विद इट्स एंगल so if it is asked that you have to mention it in the phasor form then you have to write like this if the mag only magnitude is asked then you can write the answer like this so next third part of the problem is we have to find out recte power so recte power is root 3 times v l i l sin phi रूट थ्री टाइम्स वी एल इज टू थर्टी आई एल इज थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट एट फोर साइन थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट एट सेवन सो वैल्यू ऑफ रेक्टे पावर एज नाइन पॉइंट फाइव टू के वी ए आर सो सर रेक्टे पावर कंज्यूम इन द सर्किट ना मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम Three impedances, each of ten angle sixty degree ohms, are connected in star to a three phase four hundred volt fifty hertz supply. So we have a star connected load. Ten angle sixty degree. This one is connected to 400 volt supply. 400 is the value of line voltage. So VL is 400 volts. Calculate the line voltage and phase voltage. So line voltage we have calculated. It's directly given in the problem. Its star connection. Phase voltage VP is VL by root three. Four hundred by root three is two thirty point nine four volts. This is the value of phase voltage. Then power factor and active power consumed. So if we have to find out power factor and and active power consumed, we need to calculate the phase current and the line current. So in B part, we need to calculate power, which is root three times V L. I L cos phi. For that, we need to calculate phase current. Since in case of star connection, I L and I P both are same. I P is V L by sorry V P by Z P. V P is two thirty point nine four. Z P is given ten angle sixty degree. So I P is twenty three point zero nine four angle minus sixty degree MPS. So what we get phi is minus sixty. So cos phi, which is power factor, cos of minus sixty means point five, and it's a lagging power factor. Minus sixty means current is lagging behind the voltage. Now coming to the power, root three times V L four hundred. I L and I P both are same, so it means I L is having magnitude twenty three point zero nine four. Cos phi is point five. So active power consumed in the circuit is seven point nine nine nine. We can say approximately eight kilowatt. and then in part c if the same impedances are connected in delta to the same supply what is the active power consumed now if you have remember in the previous video we have derived the relationship between power consumed in case of star to power consumed in case of delta so power in consumed in delta is 3 times the power consumed in case of star so we can simply write 3 into 
एट ट्वेंटी फोर किलो वॉट दिस इज द डायरेक्ट वे टू कैलकुलेट अदरवाइज यू कुड हैव कैलकुलेटेड इट ऑन द सिमिलर ग्राउंड एज वी डिड इट फॉर स्टार कनेक्शन इन केस ऑफ डेल्टा इन दैट केस यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट आई एल एज रूट थ्री टाइम्स आई पी एंड आई पी विल बी बी पी वन जेड पी बट बी पी इज सेम एज वी एल यू नीड टू यूज दिज रिलेशनशिप then also you get the same answer now the third problem is a balanced star connected load is supplied from a symmetrical three phase 400 volt 50 hertz system so line voltage is given 400 volts frequency is 50 hertz the current in each phase is 30 ampere so now it's mentioned that in each phase it means this is a value of phase current which is 30 amperes and lags behind by 30 degree from the phase voltage it means phi is also given 30 degree or ip in phasor form is 30 angle minus 30 degree since current is lagging behind the voltage find phase voltage so first step is we need to calculate the phase voltage since it's a star connected system so the phase voltage ep is vl by root 3 400 by root 3 is 230 point 94 volts 230.94 volts second is we need to calculate the resistance and reactance per phase for resistance and reactance per phase firstly we need to calculate the phase impedance which is phase voltage upon phase current phase voltage is 230.94 phase current is 30 angle minus 30 degree so we get the value of zp as 7.698 angle 30 degree now we can change this into the rectangular coordinates which gives us the real part 6.67 and the imaginary part as 3.849 so this one is r plus j x so the resistance per phase is 6.67 ohm the reactance per phase is 3.849 ohms in third part we have to calculate the inductance per phase xp is equals to 2 pi fl so l is equals to xp upon 2 pi f 3.849 2 pi into 50 the frequency which is given so inductance per phase is 0.0122 henry and in the last part of the problem we have to find out the total power consumed so p is root 3 times v l i l cos phi v l is 400 i l is same as i p and its value is 30 cos phi cos of minus 30 so this gives us the value of power as 18 kilowatt now moving on to the last problem for this video it is quite similar to the third problem a symmetrical three phase system four three phase 400 volt system supply is a load at point 8 lagging power factor so power factor is given point 8 so phi is cos inverse point 8 which gives the value of phi as 36.87 degrees which is connected in star 
Vl is 400 volts. If the current drawn by the impedance is 34.64 ampere, now it's not mentioned which current is this. So by default, it means this is the value of line current. Line current is 34.64 amperes. Find impedance. First part is we have to find out impedance. Again, impedance is Vp upon Ip. Vl by root 3 upon Ip. Now we need to express this Ip in along with its angle. In case of star connection, IP and IL they are same so its value is 34.67 since this is a lagging power factor it means current IP is lagging behind the voltage by 36.87 degrees so it's minus 36.87 this is how we need to express the phase current so that we can calculate the impedance so ZP is 400 by 23 IP is 34.64 angle minus 36.87 which gives us the value of ZP as 6.67 angle 36.87 which can be expressed in the rectangular coordinates as 5.33 plus j 4.005 ohm so the resistance per phase is 5.33 ohm the reactance per phase is 4.005 ohm and in the last part of the problem we have to find out the total active and reactive power active power is root 3 times v l i l cos 5 root 3 times 400 il is 34.64 cos phi is 0.8 so this gives us the value of active power as 1.19.199 kilowatt reactive power is root 3 times vl il sin phi root 3 times 400 34.67 sin of minus 36.87 or plus 6.87 it doesn't matter 14.399 is the value of kvar is the value of reactive power consumed by the slope i hope with this it's clear that how to solve the problems of three phase circuits in the next video I will take some more problems of the three phase circuits only when we have different type of system connected to the other type of the load like three phase star connected system is connected to delta connected load. Thanks for watching this video.